The function h of t equals negative 16 t squared plus 72 t plus 40 models the height in feet of a ball and t is time in seconds. We want to answer the following questions. Number one, how high is the ball when the ball is thrown? Number two, what is the maximum height of the ball? And then number three, how many seconds is the ball in the air before hitting the ground? To get a better idea of what's happening here, let's take a look at a graph of this function. But first recognize that we have a quadratic function, so the graph will be a parabola, and since a is negative, the parabola will open down. So here's the graph of our function. Again, this would be the t-axis, which is time in seconds, and the y-axis is height in feet. So we can almost answer all these questions from the graph, but we can see that the ball is thrown at this instant when the time is equal to zero. We can see the initial height would be 40. Then it goes up, reaches a maximum height here, which would be the vertex of the parabola. Remember the coordinates of the vertex are negative b over 2a, comma, in this case it would be h of negative b over 2a. And then here is where it hits the ground, and we can see it's going to hit the ground at five seconds. But let's take a look at the calculations to determine these values. First, to determine how high the ball is when the ball is thrown, at the instant the ball is thrown is when the time starts. So if we set t equal to zero, we can find the initial height. So if t is equal to zero, h of zero would be the initial height, which would be negative 16 times zero squared plus 72 times zero plus 40, which we can see would just be zero plus zero plus 40, or 40 feet, which again we saw from the graph, the initial height was 40 feet. The second question is to determine the maximum height of the ball, which remember would occur at the vertex where the x-coordinate or the t-coordinate would be the time it takes to reach the maximum height and the y-coordinate would actually be the height of the ball. So to determine the y-coordinate of the vertex, we first have to determine the x-coordinate, or in this case the t-coordinate, and then we'll evaluate the function at that value of t. So looking at our function, a is equal to negative 16, and b is equal to 72. So the x-coordinate or t-coordinate would be equal to negative 72 divided by 2 times negative 16, which would be negative 72 divided by negative 32, which comes out to exactly 2.25, which again, remember, is times, so this is seconds. This is how long it takes for the ball to reach the maximum height, but the question asks for the maximum height. Now we need to find h of 2.25. So we'll have negative 16 times 2.25 squared plus 72 times 2.25 plus 40. And now we'll use the calculator. So we'll have negative 16 times 2.25 squared plus 72 times 2.25 plus 40. So the maximum height is 121 feet. Which is the answer we're looking for. Okay, and then for the third question, we want to know how many seconds the ball is in the air before hitting the ground. Again, going back to the graph, we can see it's equal to five, but let's take a look at the algebra behind this. When the ball hits the ground, the height would be zero, or h of t would be equal to zero. So to answer this question algebraically, we'd have to solve the equation zero equals negative 16t squared plus 72t plus 40. Let's see if we can factor this. We'll first factor out the greatest common factor of eight, but if we want the coefficient to be positive, let's factor out negative eight. That would leave us with positive 2t squared minus 9t and then minus 5. Remember, if we factor out a negative, it's going to change the sign of each term. So if this does factor, 
will factor into two binomial factors. The first terms must come from the factors of 2t squared, that would be 2t and t. The second terms must come from the factors of negative 5, so that the sum of the inner product and outer product would be negative 9t. Notice if we put minus 5 here, we'd have to put a positive 1 here. The outer product is negative 10t, the inner product is positive 1t, which does have a sum of negative 9t. So this is factored correctly. The solutions would be when 2t plus 1 equals 0, or when t minus 5 equals 0. Here we would subtract 1 and then divide by 2. That would be t equals negative 1 half. Here we'd add 5, so we have t equals 5. Remember, t is time in seconds. Time can't be negative, so this does not apply. Our only solution is t equals 5 or 5 seconds. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.